see if you can ward off this fight.
You are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Indeed. I am from the Congregation of Merchants. My name is Disarde. To whom do I have the privilege? Sister Ephesia, envoy of Teleme, by the grace of the Illuminated. Enchanted, the Mother Cardinal has tasked me to investigate the activities of this village. She also sent me here to be your second. What excellent news. You cannot imagine how much comfort that brings me. How might I help you? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest... are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Bear dear to mad on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. It's probably because you are an on all Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Tell me about the missionaries that came here. They came to meet us and used their magic to shake our minds, tempt us to turn away from our ways. But it takes more than a few illusions to make us abandon our beliefs. They gave up and left, and we do not miss their presence. The woman and her guards came after that. They are more silent, but we keep our eyes open wide. Do you know anything about a demon that would be worshipped by your clan? It is not enough to take us for idiots, and now you accuse us of bowing down to evil creatures. But a lack of understanding leads to fear, so I will not prove you wrong. An enemy who knows fear is already defeated. Anything more? I need to be going. Well, I'm sick. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt Tir Dumad Renaikse. Oi and the Donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. 
The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Can't you leave us alone, Monisanai? Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Erenaik se ya toigan quahesa de elodes, summer mila, ach de wega out there. Traitor. An anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Birtir to Madre Naikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. The Moin Shakers came here to our home and tried to convince us to abandon our ways. No one wanted to listen to them, so they finally decided to leave. I suppose that they were full of disappointment, or angry, or simply tired. And then the others arrived. The woman is truly strange. She is aggressive and spies on us at every turn. I would prefer that she leaves as well. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but... Would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I could not tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light. She did not want to play. Can't you leave us alone, Monisanai? Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! You have a strange stare, Anaixe. Leave me alone. Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. 
They do not concern me. I am not a Danae god. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. Tell me about the missionaries that came here, those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong, said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the Luminous Faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. That fellow was really nervous. Perhaps we should try and search his house to see what he's hiding. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I'm sure this young lady can help us. She appears to be playful and to love pranks. Or we could just break some of these pots. I'd keep it busy. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast and it will only work once. Do you want something? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. <sighs> if we could avoid the... Very well. But be brief then. Because it is not good fun. What can you tell me about that man down there? I spoke to him and he seemed... nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Dene God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Voglendijk, the next servant of Dene God. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? 
It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really must go inside. I need to clarify something. If you can help us. I'm leading an investigation for the nation of Teleme, and this man is suspected of being part of a dark cult. If I could gain access to the dwelling, I would be satisfied. All of that are just words, and it is not fun. If you want my help, I want the hat of the Mindshaker woman. Very well. I will go and ask her. But I cannot promise that she will accept. Did you learn anything? No. I'm working on it. Anything else? This may seem a strange request, but I have something to ask. I need you to give me your hat, so that I might sneak into the house of the native. My hat? I don't see how it could possibly make you more discreet. Is this some sort of joke? <laughs> no. A woman is willing to help me in exchange for your bonnet. Go ahead and mock. It matters not. My mission takes precedence over my pride. Take it. Want something? Here. I present to you her hat. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him, but be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. I wouldn't like to cross paths in a dark alleyway with someone wearing a mask like this. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. I do not believe in all those demon stories, but all these horrors do make me think. We should go tell Sister Aphesia about it. She will have some advice for us. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened! To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him.
You Renaikse know how to make great houses and giant boats, but you are too crazy to hear the voice of nature. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. We would... Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. Where could our man have gone? These roots are blocking the way. Perhaps he went through there. Careful. Is everything okay? 
You started wobbling all of a sudden. I had a sort of flash vision. Just for an instant, I was a tree in a storm. What exactly did you see? Perhaps these images will help us find an entrance into the sanctuary. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. A bit of poison on my blade. Yeah, go! Yeah! Yeah! Mm. Could you tell us again what you saw when you touched that tree? I was this tree. This drawing looks like an infant. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. A bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! Yeah! This stone is blackened, eaten away. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. The drawing on this Did it? It worked.
Tadus Duis, Atutariam Canadedole, Tadulan Vrandi, Alaunales Agenole Vei. Klossi Garamam Italami Olflinau Ich Egrem, Klossi Gadem Tayentis Olarabini Aol Slai. Vanqua sakengadem fradem adigalem, linquid winter bulso galam sanni, tugom benis gremos nigawi, renkasie krimadrem de negao edent, los duis aruyet nes diri. Lois de Ramana des Gideon, arenta. Es war nur Fradi, da ma gengadan, ja diga la dandien. Es war nur Fradi, da we gaishidon. Ag es war nur Fradi, da we gremos en agui. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. You may not be one of the men of the light, but you are not from here. You come here thinking you know the face of God, yet you call the spirit that guides us demon. You look like us, but you act just like them. A renaikse, an enemy that seeks only to conquer the spirits of these lands. You pretend to understand our customs, so show us you are worthy of our trust. If you confront in fair contest my warriors and defeat them, I will speak with you.
I admit that for a Renoixe, you know how to fight with honor. Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you've witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion, but if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come, though what you will hear may not be to your liking.
strange party we have here. Who are you to come and disrupt our solitude? Good day. We... You? You are on Olmenawi and at the same time, Renaixe. So it is possible to bond yourself on your faraway island? We are here because Teleme has asked us to carry out an investigation. They think that certain clans venerate a demon, an evil creature. We carried out our investigation of Vedlog on Chief Durda in an attempt to discover the truth. And the clues have led us to find our answers in this sanctuary. Durda sends you to seek out a demon? Curious. A man from your island came already a long time ago, full of questions he was as well. He had a small party of warriors with smoking tubes, and on their chests, a golden lion. A lion? An emblem that is fitting for the pride of the Bridge Alliance. They set up a camp near here, and then they disappeared all of a sudden. Do you know where precisely? It was a long time ago. I don't remember all that well. My memory has been leaving me of late. But it wasn't far from here. You will find it, I am certain. Ah! You are bringing back the memories. They were asking nearly the same questions you ask. It represents a beast of the marshes, a red serpent. A fresco. It represents a beast of the marshes, a red serpent. is fading. I can't see much of anything. fresco in various yellow hues. It represents a sort of insect.
remains. They must be the people the hermit was talking about. Don't you think? Probably. You can still... Discern the crest of the Alliance on this doublet. Let's search the area. There might still be something interesting. Strange stranger. I found this note. It speaks of a ritual, but it is incomplete. Do you know anything else about it? A ritual? Yes, there is a ritual for the impatient. For me, it serves no purpose. I am here. I wait. But for me, it would be useful. Can you help me? Deirdre must have her reasons. The folly of youth. Do you see those drums over there? They awaken the earth. As long as you play them correctly. They will awaken the earth. Oh, and that's not all. Once the earth is awakened, the stone will appear. That must be quenched. Quench a stone? But you're still here. What do you want again? Quench a stone. What does that mean? Water trickles on the stone and returns to us, empowered by its force. But sometimes, water is not enough. This note I found explains a recipe. A potion thought to contain the essence of this place. That's what must be poured over the stone. Oh, yes. No doubt. No doubt. But you're still here. What do you want again? How do you play the drums? Oh, that's easy. The music is the first language of Tiafradi. It resonates with the earth. You need only respect the natural order for the earth to hear you. A predator, a prey, the cycle. <sighs> that's not really all that clear. Come now, come now. You must first make the snake rattle, unless it is first to be the insect. Alas, time devours all memories. I do remember one thing, though. I'm listening. Each drum must only be played one time, and only once. But you're still here. What do you want again? Nothing. I shall leave you alone. Evidently, we made a mistake.
Evidently, we made a mistake. Bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! Evidently, we made a mistake. Bit of poison on my blade. Something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. Looks like an altar. The stones! That must be... What is this? Did you forget? Never use the same one twice. A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Something's appeared over there. It seems as if it's some type of altar. It looks like an altar. Assassin of this creature. May the earth swallow you all! We had no choice. This creature attacked us. Explain yourself rather than insulting us. Ignorant foreigners! She was a Nadaig, a guardian, a Danaigad returned to nature! I don't understand. 
Are you telling me that this creature was once a woman? It was my woman! You and all those of your cursed island are fools and destroyers. But an all Milfricti men will soon send you back over the water. He will destroy you as you destroy us. He has already begun. Enon Mil... What? I have no idea what all this gibberish means, but it sounds to me like he's cursing us. One mystery after another. What we take for a demon was a woman transformed into a beast. And now we have but a simple name. <laughs> Enon Mil Frichtemen. This man, or this thing, seems to be after us. Perhaps it is behind all of this. We need to learn more. You survived, which must mean, alas, that one of the Nardaig is with us no longer. You are a great warrior. You could almost be a storm warrior. What do you seek? You set a trap for us, invoking and releasing that creature. It is true. And the Nardaig is indeed one of the faces, a spirit of the oil. I was hoping that you would disappear. The swamps do not like to give back those who enter. You have seen things that no stranger to our clan has ever seen. Secrets that no one must know. But you survived. You are strong. I should not have taught you so weak. I have nothing more to give you than my excuses. And that you keep to yourself all that you have seen. You are a brave on all Manawi. And I would like to request your help. You request my help after sending me on a suicide mission? You helped us to find the camp of the Soul Lasser. And you have proven your valor fighting the Nardaik. So, yes, I am asking for your help in saving the people who are suffering in this camp. What do you intend to do exactly? Attack and destroy this camp and those who live in it to set my people free. And how am I supposed to help you? Moy clan is powerful, but so are these soul lasser. I need more warriors. Eseld of the Gaius Rad is in my debt, but I'm afraid she might refuse to honor it after her clan was defeated. You know how to talk to people, and you are friends with her twin sister. I would like you to go and convince her to help me. I suppose I could try at least. That would be good. 
It would also be good if you could fight alongside us to set these prisoners free. Meet us near the camp with the forces you managed to assemble. I think we should inform the Mother Cardinal of the Order of Luminous's actions. If we don't, she could take offense at an intervention of the congregation without consulting her first. The valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! <laughs> Over there, tents. This must be the expedition's camp. They do not look in very good condition. Let's have a closer look. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents in the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. No weapon leaves this sort of mark. Perhaps they were wielding magic. This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's campsite. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the Lost Expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover.
A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. More blood. We're on the right path. Keep going. A corpse. The clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he's been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. I have heard stories from the natives describing Bridger atrocities. If they are true, this violent attack, though tragic, would be justified. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. the isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer there. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. It's like being in a crow's nest. The view we have of the valley is an ideal observation. It is a journal. That of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops mid-sentence. Let's hope she's still alive, as well as her colleagues, or our mission will be a short one. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will certainly lead us to our party of intrepid scientists. This naturalist was obviously more rational than her colleagues. The attackers must have come from this path, leading to the swamp. Shall we follow it? Look, those are islanders. They might be from the clan that attacked the Bridger camp. Let's get closer. Renaise! We won't let you take us. We will not kneel down without a fight. Wait. We have no desire to fight you. We only want to find the Lion Sages. They are not warriors, but their chief is ready to send an army of warriors to liberate them. If you help us bring them back, you will save your tribe from a costly battle in lives. He speaks truly. 
Look, one of them is already eager to bring Lion warriors back to us. All we wanted was for them to tell us where our brothers are being kept. What good is this if we must leave our camp behind? Very well. Stay away from the main entrance. Our guards will not welcome your arrival. Pass around. There is a smaller entrance hidden there. The lions are kept in a home in ruins. There must be a key somewhere to open the door, but I know not where it is kept. What is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. Well, after this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? Well, we were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He's worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? Desarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm, the new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And them? Captain Vasco. Though I realize I am quite far from the sea. Kurt, simply Kurt, I protect our excellencies back. And if one of your violent fits overcomes you, rescue party or not, I will kill you. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars shout, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are oh so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. <laughs> 